As soon as I upgraded to iOS 18.2.1, my battery life plummeted and I investigated trying to figure out what was the cause of the battery life issues. I found a few different settings that when I turned them off, my battery life skyrocketed back to what it was before. I'm going to walk you through all of those steps. Now let's head into the settings here. And once you're in the settings, Let's scroll down a little bit and you can see under the action button is Apple intelligence. Now keep in mind, not everyone will see this Apple intelligence. This is only for iPhone 15 and iPhone 16 users. So if you have an older iPhone, you don't necessarily need to worry about this. But one of the big culprits that I found was Apple intelligence itself. So when I toggled this off and turned it off completely, there are a couple of things that I found. One is that I didn't necessarily miss it because I find the Apple intelligence features as of right now are not that overwhelming. I just don't use them all that much. And unfortunately it uses up my battery life a lot. So I decided to turn this off and I noticed a remarkable increase in my battery life. However, there are other things that I noticed as well. If you go back out of here, and scroll down a little bit and go to face ID and passcode. Now you're going to enter the passcode in for your phone. But after you've done that, let's scroll down. And one of the things I found was this live activities. Now I never really thought much about it before, but essentially the live activities is when your iPhone is on a lock screen and it pops up that you're watching a video or it pops up with a song or something like that, or maybe ESPN pops up and says, Hey, there's a game. Now I found for whatever reason, live activities was using up a lot of my battery life in iOS 18.2.1. Maybe when they upgrade to iOS 18.3, that won't be an issue. But as of now, I have this feature turned off. Now, the next thing that I would recommend doing after you've done that is to go back out of here and we're going to scroll up until we get to display and brightness. Another one that I found that wasn't usually an issue before, but now it seems to be an issue is the always on display. So tap on always on display and I just toggled this off completely again for whatever reason in the lock screen, those lies live activities and the always on display were draining my battery life. When I went into the battery statistics, I found that basically those were big culprits in draining my battery life until I turned those off. Now, the last thing that we'll do is we'll go all the way back out of here and we're going to tap on general. Now, if we scroll to the bottom, you can see transfer or reset iPhone tap on that. And essentially we're going to reset some settings. So tap on reset and you can see the second option reset network settings. So when I tap on this and enter the passcode for my phone, it says delete all network settings and bring them back to factory default. Again, for whatever reason, when I upgraded to the latest iOS operating system, for some reason, my Bluetooth and my Wi-Fi were taking up a lot of the battery on my phone. Uh, for whatever reason, when I was connected to a Wi-Fi, maybe there was an issue with the cellular data that was uh, I was connected to or the Wi-Fi or the Bluetooth. I'm not necessarily sure which one it was, but just by resetting everything and bringing those back to factory default, I could then go out of here and then just go back to Wi-Fi and reconnect it to a Wi-Fi or reconnect it to my cell tower. And then I found using data on my phone didn't drain the battery life super quickly. So walking through all of those different steps, I found after basically doing that before versus after, I gained a lot of battery life and I have an iPhone 16 Pro, so a fairly new iPhone. And I was noticing midway through the day, I had to charge it, there were issues, but now essentially I can go throughout the entire day. You can see I have 74% and it goes down pretty slowly from here. I hope this helped you. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. Really helps me out. Thanks guys.